Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to get the Ring of the Living. Ring of the Living is one of the most important fashion soul item to PvP. For those who don't know what the Ring of the Living does, its effect is to show you like a regular player even when you are in other people's worlds. What does that mean? Thanks to the Ring of the Living, you don't look like a white, red, blue or dark phantom when you are making a cop or invading. You actually look like in your own world. We're going to avoid all the PvP prank possibilities that this ring provides, so we're going to focus on how to get it as fast and easy as we could. So first of all, this ring is part of the third DLC, the snowy one. If you got the Scholar of the First Sin edition, you already got the DLC, and if you are in the regular Dark Souls 2 version, you have to get the Crown of the Ivory King DLC. After you get to the first DLC area, you have to get a viable the fifth bonfire to get in the frigid outskirts, which is the area where the ring of the living is. So if you want to see how can you get in this part, just click in the video in the screen. Once you are in the fifth bonfire, just need to get in the coffin next to the bonfire and then you'll be in the frigid outskirts. Well, this area is the hell if it's the first time you're here. So I get a map of this area to explain where we start and where we're going to. This is the area map. This is where you start. And this is where you want to go. As you can see, the Ring of the Living is almost at the end of the level, just next to the boss gate. Because of that, I recommend you to summon some NPCs to help you to tank and fight the motherfucking reindeers. If the reindeers were all the problem, it will be way too easy. The problem is the blizzard. From time to time, the blizzard stops, and you can see the area. But when the blizzard starts, you can see anything. That's why I show you a map. One last tip about fighting the lightning reindeer horses. Get some lightning resistance shield and armor. They're weak against strike weapons. I recommend you to use a great hammer to this part if you got one. If you don't have any great hammer, use something with high poise breaking stat and the stone ring. Because after a couple of big hits with the stone ring, they got blocked. Well, after you get in out of the coffin, you have to go to the tombs where you can summon two NPCs in the regular Dark Souls 2 version and three NPCs in the Scholar version. After you summon them, just wait until the blizzard stops. And when that happens, look for some ruins and start running to them. If you go straight forward, you will not have problems with the reindeers yet. Once there, you can get a couple of dry roots and the nice and fancy mirror hat. After taking the mirror hat, it's recommended to wait in the wall until the blitter stops. When it stops, you can see another ruins in the distance. That's the main way to get until the end of the area but I'll show you a faster way. When the blizzard get banished, and if you are looking to the next ruins, spin a little bit the camera to the right, like if you were looking for the sunlight, and start to run in that direction. We are looking for the edge of the map, but watch out, at this part the renders will start to spawn every time the blizzard restart. Well, the next part is pretty easy in guiding terms. Just stay near to the edge of the map, and go forward fighting from time to time the lighting reindeer's horses. Don't let them be many, because it will be a problem. One is problematic, but three or four at the same time is a nightmare. When you've been going forward for a while, it's time to check out the horizon. You have to be careful, because at the end of the area, the edge finishes in a hole, and you don't want to fall after all this trouble. But good news! If you can see the hole, that means that you arrived your destination. Walk around the edge of the hole, avoiding some boxes until you can see a body pretty near to the edge. The body contains the Ring of the Living. Congratulations, you just got the Ring of the Living. To get easily out of there avoiding the fight and the boss, just need to follow the whole edge a little bit more until you see a ramp. This ramp gets you into a nice bridge. Cross it. After that, go until the boss gate. Once there, Use the black crystal to send the phantom to their walls. And then use the homeward bone of the emerald feather to come back to the bonfire. That's it guys. That's how you get through one of the most horrible and hostile areas in the game. If after all the run you want to give a try to the boss, you're free to do it. Well guys, I hope you can find this video helpful and useful. 
Don't forget, if you want, you can like, share and subscribe. See ya! Mm -hmm.